Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. Today, we're talking about Zavi. It's all about Zavi. Now, you know, there's all these crazy websites out there that do like reselling of stuff. And every now and your boy, Andres, does get snookered into something or do a little impulse buy. So I was on this website called slickdeals.net and they have these little deals. Every now and then I'll go to see what's going on. And they had one for Zavi, Z-A-V-V-I, I don't know. I guess they got to come up with these crazy words and spellings, made up language so that, you know, because that website, you know, IP is not taken. So I went to Zavi. They said, oh, for 25 bucks, you get a DC Comics t-shirt and a bunch of graphic novels. And I'm like, 25 bucks, what the hell? I'll get to use it for the channel. What the freak, why not? Let's do it. So I did it. I spent 25 bucks. I went to Zavi's. I got it's a it's a mystery box. So this is a mystery box. So we did it, and here's the mystery box. I just opened it up. Haven't seen these before. Let's check out on what I got at Zavi's. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they do this often or not. I was thinking about this whole concept of just like grab bag trades. Um, you know, when I was at DC Comics I, for an interview, uh, for an editor job uh, about two years ago, when I went there, there was comics everywhere at their headquarters. I'm talking about over in Burbank. It was like just trades, just <laughs> comics. I mean, Fire Marshal, don't go to DC Comics headquarters. And like some of the editor's offices I went to, it was like <laughs> stacks. And they're like, hey man, you want some books? I'm here for a job interview, and they're like, "Yeah, do you want, you want to take want to take home some books?" And I was like, uh, "No, I'm okay because I want this job so bad. I want this." Job. And I was like, "Big ball." I was just like, "No, dude, I don't want your trades. I want the job." And they were like, "Okay, cool." And I didn't get the job. <laughs> I should have got the trades. So uh, they did say like, "Hey, come by anytime. We'll give you some books." Um, you know, it, books are just a commodity. It's just like. We're gonna print this, we're gonna give it, we're gonna sell it, and the next month we gotta do another one, right? It's the constant flow. So I guess there's like just these warehouses full of books not sold, and so places like Zavi's gets a hold of them and says, hey, we'll just freaking sell them discount and make a few bucks. So let's open it up, here we are. So let's start with the t-shirt, Zavi's. Boom! Okay, 25 bucks, this, you know, this is like a, I don't know if it's a $25 shirt, but it's a, it's a shirt, right? It is official, it's got the Batman logo inside, it's a DC shirt, it's got a, this little Batman sign, you can't, this, if we just talk about symbols, this is a pretty badass symbol, dude. As far as like logo and stuff, this is pretty badass. Uh, yeah, so here you go, $10 shirt, 25 bucks. Now let's get these books. Now. I've not seen these, and these look actually pretty cool. Should we flip the camera over? Yes, yeah, so let's flip the camera over. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, the Zavi Mystery Box. Here we go. Wonder Woman. Now, these are all these are all called Eagle Moss collections, and I don't know, there's some sort of a reprinting, but if I look here, it's UK. There's no American cost. It's UK, Australia, New Zealand. So it must be some sort of a reprinting company. That, these are nice end plates, in, in sheets. Um, it must be some sort of like a reprint company that for overseas, if you guys, anybody there in the UK or Australia or someplace know anything about this company, uh, again, it's called, it's called Eagle Moss Collections. I don't know, somehow they got the rights to do it. I mean, they're DC books though, I mean, clearly. Um, so what is this? Is this like, I don't even know. George Perez, oh, oh, I've wanted to get this. Lin Wing. Yeah, this is the um, the Lin Wing and um, George Perez stuff back in the 80s? Yeah, mid 80s. Oh, I've been wanting to read this stuff. I really like George Perez. I mean, look at that. Is that not classic like Crisis of the Infinite or stuff? Um, I've been wanting to read this. I'm definitely going to read this and we'll do a review. Yeah, I think George Perez is great. You know, I have not talked about him yet on this channel. That's a travesty. Um, 
I don't do that much main com. I mean, you guys know I don't do that much like mainstream comics. So that was another reason I thought well, that'd be kind of fun just to read some mainstream stuff. I haven't done that in a while, and I do love it. Uh, I'm not a fan of the color on this, but that's okay. Uh, cool, very cool. What else? They're all hardcover. I mean, this is definitely a deal as far as just mass quantity of stuff to be able to have all this for 25 bucks. I mean, it's pretty pretty badass. I mean, you can't go wrong. What is this? Catwoman. Is this like the old uh, a Jim Balance stuff? What is this? Oh wait, that looks like that looks a lot like Darwin Cook. Is this Darwin Cook? What? I didn't know Darwin Cook and Ed Brubaker did a for and Mike Allred did a freaking book. What is this? This was back in a uh, 2002. What, dude? I didn't know that. I am a huge fan of of Darwin Cook. You guys know I've done multiple videos of him. He is one of the masters. Oh, this is Brad Ratter, but that's okay. It's got the Cook style. Very cool. Okay, I'm excited. Actually, this doesn't look like him either. This is Brad Ratter. Okay, did Cook just do the covers? I do not like when they do that. When they just give the guy a cup. No, this, I don't know. If he just did the covers and they give him like top billing, I get annoyed by that. Okay, good. He did do this one. Okay, so we got some actual Cook. Yeah, that looks like Cook too. Yeah, this is Cook, Cook and Allred. Cool. I'd like to see how they broke that out. This is fun. Okay, I'm excited about this. This is a good one. This is a good one, too. Okay, two, so far, so good. What's Virtue and Vice? What is this? Um, that's not nice. Carlos Pacheco? When was this? Oh, my gosh. See, guys, this is stuff. This is actually good. I didn't know David Gore did comics. I mean, I know he did a bunch of movie comic stuff, but... Jeff Johns. Oh, this is kind of fun. Oh, and we got a little bit of reprint of some old school stuff. Okay, this is fun. This will be kind of cool. I'm not. A, I do like J, JSA, so that'll be kind of cool. Batman Under the Hood. Should we open this? Uh, maybe we won't open it. Maybe we will open it. Should I open it real quick? I think this is the. Uh, is this the one that just came out with Jason uh, Todd coming under as Red Hood? He came back. Let me see real quick. I might not open all these. I don't need to make a 20 minute video necessarily, but let's take a look. Well, maybe we should. Maybe we should do it. Okay. Let's look at this bad boy. Bad boy. Okay. Again, I really like the production of these, these British versions. This is really nice. These are like bookshelf style stuff. Okay, they all have a, do they all have like a back? Yeah, they all have like some sort of a reprint from like the 50s and then with the kind of modern. Uh, yeah, I do not have this. I definitely do not know this story. I thought, okay, let's look at it. Let's take a look. Judd Winnick, okay, yeah, Judd Winnick. Uh, <laughs> Doug uh, Maney, Mankey, Mackey? I don't know how to say that. Paul Lee, don't know who Paul Lee is. Cool, okay, so new story. Flashpoint. Now, volume 59, I don't know what that's about. I wonder if these are all part of like a volume series. Because if I look at the spines, it looks like it's creating that Alex Ross, kind of, you know, that painting. This looks like the Joker, Black Manta. You know that one he did of like the Doom, the Legion Doom? Plastic Man, oh. Is this the Kyle Baker cap? This is Kyle Baker? <gasps> the Kyle Baker Plastic Man? Now, I already have this. I have it, I actually like got it custom made, but this is nice. It's the first six probably, so it's, yeah, first six issues. Very cool, huge fan of the Plastic Man stuff. Big, big fan, so that's great. I already have it, that's okay. Solo, Solo's cool because this is, um, I don't have all the, this was like little one-offs. 
They did like these little like like an anthology where I think Paul Pope, yeah, Paul Pope is in here, and Brubaker. It's like the whole the whole crew. Um, and I've definitely not read the Paul Pope one. That would be the one I want to read the most. Let's check this out. Yeah, mama. Yeah, Darwin Cook, Tim Sale, the whole freaking the whole freaking gang is here. Yeah. Oh, this oh, what is this? Oh my mama. Oh, this looks good, dude. This looks good, dude. This looks really good, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at this. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm gonna read some comics, dude. It's been hard to read comics. Oh, uh, some chicken. No, that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, Paul Pope. Yeah, dude. Okay, I'm excited. This will be fun. This will be fun. I, I do love comics. You guys know that. It's been hard to read some Western stuff lately. I've just been so entrenched with the manga. Um, and I've been listening to so much music. And I've been working on my book. When you are producing, you just have, you don't have time to consume, you know? So I just haven't had time to consume stuff. And I feel like I do have to consume for the channel. Um, so that's been a challenge, because I've been making. Oh, some painted Justice League stories. Nice. Superman Birthright. Don't need to open that, we get it. Oh, part one and part two. Yes. Awesome. Who wrote this? I thought this, was this a, is this a Jeff Loeb story or is this a John Jones story? What is this? Let's look at that real quick. Opening it up, the mystery box from Zabby. Good old Zabby, dude. Hooking us up today. Hooking us up. Who is this? Yeah, lean old. Francis Yu is so good. Oh, Mark Wade. This is Mark Wade. I like Mark Wade. Okay, I'm excited. Cool. This is actually really good, you guys. I feel like for 25 bucks, you get your t-shirt, you get 10 trades that evidently no one wanted at some point from, you know, England or whatever. Uh, these guys reprinted them. It's nice. It's really nicely done. I say, maybe I'll put a link. I'll, I'll, I'll find the link to it. it. It might still be going on. If they have a Marvel one, I totally would do a Marvel. That would be super fun. If they had an image, that would be unreal. But yeah, super stoked about this. There you go, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Now, if you wanna know what I'm up to, you guys, if you're like, yeah, you always talk about consuming and producing. Well, if you wanna see what I'm doing, go check out my Patreon page. I've got a lot of posts there. I'm doing two graphic novels. One, a sci-fi kind of heavy metal magazine homage called Boaz the Long Home. And then another more self-autobiography with some crime drama in the southern state of Arkansas in the 80s called Shangri-La Estates. Both of those are on my Patreon that I'm working on. And a lot of stuff is free. A couple things you do have to pay for. One dollar a month and you can read the whole freaking thing. So check that out and uh, have a good one. Take care, guys.